Hi, this is Samantha House, and I'm going to show you how to use the Classroom Screen Random Group Generator. So the first thing that we'll do is navigate to Classroom Screen, choose Get Started, and if you've never logged into Classroom Screen before, you can just sign up with Google. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to go to More, and I'm going to select Edit the Widget Bar so that I can add in the Random Group Generator which is right here. And I'll just drag it up to the widget bar and then I can close out of this dialog box. From this screen, I can now click Group Maker and I'll click Open Settings because I need to either choose a list of names that I've already added in or in this case, I'm gonna show you how to get started with it. So we're gonna add a list of new names. So I can copy my list of students straight from PowerSchool. So here I'll click edit my list and I'll go create a new name list. I can give it a title. So this one might be called third block and I can just copy the student names in straight from PowerSchool. And these are just fake names that ChatGPT came up with for the purposes of this tutorial. And I'll click create. Now what I want to do is go ahead and change a couple of settings within the name list. So there's a few really cool things that you can do. If Alice Thompson is not supposed to ever be in a group with a certain student, I can click the three dots beside her name and I can prevent combinations. So maybe she and Aria are not supposed to be in a group together, I can click exclude and just close it out. Maybe Emily Martinez, I'll select student settings really needs to be in a group with Clara. I can click pair and that'll make sure that they're together. So I'm doing that, all of that on the back end, but it's still gonna look random when I do this in front of students. So now that I have my student list selected, I'm gonna go back to the last screen and I'm gonna go back to the group generator widget and I'm gonna choose from my list. So this is third block and right here on this bar it's going to tell me the number of groups and then or it'll so let me select the number of groups and it tells me how many students the groups will contain so if i want to get this down to three students per group i can just keep sliding it and over to groups of 10. Um, i can change the font size if i want put them in random order i can select a color theme and then I'll just choose create groups. Now, we won't be able to see all of these, so I can go ahead and drag the handles so that they all show up at the same time. If I want to randomize again, I can click shuffle. And that is how you create random groups with Classroom Screen. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more Dear Dis videos.